Hey there everybody, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today we're going to do a quick teaser video for you of three upcoming reviews. I have been blessed to be able to review for you guys and get out there and really test out the new for 2015 Bushcraft models from Schrade. I have my hands and been able to get my hands on the Schrade SCHF 36, 37, and 38. And these are designed to really kind of explode, in my opinion, the budget market of survival slash bushcraft. Nice. I mean, th these things are epic in their design, and I was blessed enough to have Schrade send me them to do full field testing and reviewing for you guys prior to their release coming in, I believe, early 2015. So in this video, I'm just going to do a, a brief overview. Uh, in weeks to come, you will see full field testing on each one individually, just like you know over here at Gideon's Tactical, really taking them out, doing a thorough thrashing on them. Right now, I've just kind of done some minor whittling and carving in the backyard, just kind of get a feel for the knives. Uh, so I'm just going talk real briefly of uh, my experience so far and just kind of give you some of the basic specs and dimensions on these knives as well as the ballpark price that Schrade is saying they're going to re be releasing these for. Um, they kind of have a, a, an estimated price that they're going to be charging and I guarantee you, you're going to be blown away when I tell you here in just a moment what they're ballparking the price is going to be once they're released and you can purchase them on Amazon and eBay and those type of places. It's really mind-blowing what Schrade can crank out for that price point that you're about to hear. So let's go ahead, start breaking down these blades and just kind of give you you a quick teaser to what your appetite and your whistle for the upcoming full reviews on each one of these models all right guys so here are the three blades that we have before us and i'm super stoked to show this to you so the numbers are a little weird and again i really hope Schrade starts naming their knives because it makes us as reviewers a lot easier to purchase i mean uh, to talk to you guys about this but anyway we have the 37 we have the 38 and we have the 36, okay, just so that you kind of see them all there. Again, 1095 on all of these high carbon steel with the, that kind of traction coating that they have that I'm not super stoked about. The, the ones that I'll be keeping for an extended period of time, I'll definitely be stripping off the coating. Uh, they all have kind of a modified hollow grind. They're not Scandi grinds. They're not Sabre grinds. Uh, it's a very shallow hollow grind, but it is a hollow grind. The These two came really nice and sharp out of the box. This one was kind of dull, and I had to definitely do some work on it before it would start going but um, just to kind of give you a little bit perspective in their sizes here and I'll be rolling in some knives as well but just for the edges in particular I'm going to measure the edge length for you we got a six and one quarter inches right here on the biggest one the s37 then as we go down to the 38 and the 38 is basically that very similar to that same model, just no finger choil. So those of you who don't like finger choils, the 38 offers that for you. And that one is 5.75 inches of actual cutting edge. And then down here for the 36, you have a cutting edge of four and a half inches of actual cutting edge right there. So uh, those are the, the basic specs for you. I don't have any weights yet, and I'll talk about those, and I'll have the weights for you. I'm going to weigh them before we get into um, actually doing the field testing. So when it does come to the weight, guys, uh, these two up here are right around floating, right around a pound, possibly this one even a little bit more, maybe 17 ounces. And then this guy I think is around 12 ounces. Again, I'll have all those basic specs for you in the full reviews. And then also the thickness, guys, all three of these blades are the exact same thickness, have the exact same handles. Everything is exactly the same. And the thickness on the blades is 0 0.223 so just a hair under a quarter inch thick awesome for 1095 it's tough durable blades here and you can see with this guy i actually got out um since filming that intro to this video i've gotten out and taken it out for a full day of hard use and uh, it has held up amazingly well so with all that being said guys uh real quick i want to just run in a couple other blades just to kind of show you a little bit of what i'm talking about so you can get some perspective too here is the schrade seh f26 previously reviewed here on the channel again having the exact same handle that these knives have these new bushcraft knives very similar to that uh, f38 just about uh, three-fourths of an inch shorter there and then that has a crazy hollow grind very very high and you can see a very deep hollow grind you can see these don't have that they almost have saber grinds compared to this blade but just kind of give you some perspective if you own the f26 you're getting the exact same handle on that knife on these knives the other thing would be the uh se6 Run that in up here with this guy. And you can see there when I line up the edges, the Schrade has about a quarter inch longer blade than the SE6, but almost the exact same length and a very similar in size to the SE6 or a RAT7. So just kind of give you, again, a little bit of perspective there that SEHF37 
is very close to uh, RAT7 or SC6 or BK7. Then finally the BK2, I'll just run that in here. And actually I have one more after that. Uh, the BK2 to show you down here against the 36, you can see that you have quite a lot of blade extra on your BK2 than you would on your um, uh, 36 f36 so i wouldn't necessarily say that the 36 is similar to the bk2 i would actually say it's more uh, like an se4 or a rat 5 this blade right here is a lot more that that's the f36 sorry trying to balance all the the names of these blades it's a little difficult but um and all the numbers running through my head here so anyway i would say this is closer to a, a rat 5 or um an se4 than it would be to a bk2 bk2 definitely has a little bit longer blade on it and some other features um so and then finally i want to run in the Schrade sch f9 uh, yeah f9 very very similar the exact same blade length as you would be getting on the new 37 and uh, very similar in length everything like that the 37 has a bigger more generous finger choil very similar grinds very similar in thickness the one thing i will note guys is if you remember when we did this review for this knife the f9 uh, it i didn't really like how fat and beefy the handles are compared to now they've definitely thinned those down even though they're the exact same handle material and texture you can see these new bushcraft knives are definitely thinner the problem is i still would prefer this shred over the the f9 i would prefer this handle over these handles because there's definitely some uh problems with the jimping here there's a hump there's some problems that i don't really like and they're a lot shorter you can see here when i line them up you got at least an inch longer on the f9 from the guards back than you would on these blades. So uh, I don't like that about these knives. There's definitely some problems with the ergonomics that we'll talk about in the full field test and review. Um, with that being said though, uh, let's go ahead and look at the sheath real quick. When it comes to the sheaths with these knives, they're all very similar. Pretty low quality nylon, but it gets the job done. And then uh, they have all have button snaps, which is awesome, not Velcro. Then each one of them also comes with a diamond coated stone for resharpening as well as a fire steel, which is amazing for the price point. And let me tell you what the price point is. The price point on these knives, they estimate, again, this is their estimation for Amazon. The price point for the 36, they estimate is going to be $26 on Amazon once they are released. That is their estimated price that they're shooting for. And then on these two blades up here, they're estimating $30. Can you believe that? For 1095 high carbon steel, nylon sheaths, fire steels, diamond coated sharpeners, I mean, even with some of the problems with the ergonomics, again, that we'll talk about in the full reviews, for the price point of definitely under $40 for any of these, and what it looks like to be $30 or less for all three of the knives that you see before you, is insanely mind blowing. You can't even fathom that. I mean, it boggles my mind uh, when you say that. So, Anyway, guys, I hope that really gets you guys excited about these knives. These are going to be some awesome, awesome blades, I think, to use and own. So with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap up the teaser video here on these new Schrade Bushcraft knives for 2015. All right, guys, so you've seen the kind of brief overview. Uh, again, like I said, in weeks to come, you will be seeing the full field testing on each one of these models so that you can really make a wise purchasing decision when they are released in, I believe, the first part of 2015. So coming up real soon, you guys are going to be able to get your hands on these models. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe, comment, like these videos, and uh, real soon you will see the full field testing and reviewing and really get my overall view on whether or not these are going to be good items for you to purchase and what their best uses are and uh, the pros and cons of each one of these models in the upcoming reviews that you're going to see here on Gideon's Tactical. Thanks so much for checking out this teaser video. Stay tuned. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical. Please subscribe, comment, like the videos, share the videos, and check out our Facebook page. You can find it on the YouTube homepage of Gideon's Tactical. Like our Facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos. Uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear, new gear releases, you know, that products and companies that uh, are released, as well as behind the scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.